Oh my God, an actual Intel card. That's right, a graphics card has hit the market. And Steve Burke over at Gamers Nexus was able to get his hands on one. I'll have a link to his full video down below. But for right now, let's talk about the Intel Iris Xe DG1, Intel's first actual GPU. Let's talk tech. Did you just build yourself a brand new PC? Or did you just upgrade your old PC but find you're in need of a Windows 10 key? If that's the case, your CD key has you covered. And buying, it's never been easier. All you do is go to the Your CD Key website, find the Windows software that you want to buy, put it into your cart, enter the code TOT20, apply the code, save yourself some extra money, and as soon as you complete your purchase, the Windows 10 key will be in your inbox. There's no problems, it's really easy, and all keys are guaranteed to work, so you don't have to worry about losing your money, and you'll have a valid Windows 10 key to get your unit up and running. Okay, so Intel has finally released an actual GPU onto the market. Now, this particular card is Intel's very first card that they've ever release that somebody could buy. And currently, it's not a part that you can really go and just buy off of a shelf. The way that Steve was able to get a hold of his card was actually buying it in a system from the people over at CyberPower. And currently, the card will only work in certain motherboards. So even if you bought the system and pulled the card out and tried to install it you know, in some other system, it's probably not going to work for you whatsoever. Now, this card is also really, really small. I mean, it is the smallest little card that I've seen in a long time. I mean, compared to any of the current you know, cards from NVIDIA or AMD, this is a little tiny baby card. Oh, good little baby Intel card, nice card. And um, it's not really all that powerful. Um, it just really isn't. This Iris Xe DG1, um, it's not meant for gaming. It's meant for enterprise type of stuff. So if you were expecting the first card out of the market to, you know, to be a great gaming card, well, then you're probably going, eh, what the heck? But here's the thing. We all know that competition drives the market. And the very fact that Intel finally was able to get their card on the market, this is just the first stepping stone to video cards for them. I'm sure that within the next year or so, we're gonna see a lot of other cards come out from Intel. Right now, I guess they're kind of, you could say they're like dipping their feet into the lake, just making sure the water's not so cold that their balls are gonna freeze off when they jump in, which is probably a smart thing. So what are the specs of this little card? Well, let's take a look. Like I said, this card is very small. I mean, it's probably only about three or four inches long. It's looking like it's about four inches long. Standard height, single rack space though. Very small card. Now, as far as what's inside of it, it has 80 EUs, which are execution units. It has 640 shaders, 20 ROPs, 40 TMUs. It's based on the 10 nanometer super fin process. That's right, Intel's on 10 nanometer. It's got a 900 megahertz base clock. It's got a 1650 boost clock. Now that's just rumored. Um, not quite sure if it's actually hitting that all the time. And it's got four gigabytes of RAM. So all in all, this really isn't a super powerful card. But the really important thing about all of this is that, well, They've finally done it. It's there, it's out. And if you wanna go out and buy a system from CyberPower or anybody else who's actually selling one of these systems, you can actually get a hold of one of these cards for yourself. So no more rumors, no more speculation. This is an actual product being released onto the market. And I think it's pretty cool because 
Like I said before, this is just the very beginning of what's going to be happening from Intel. I'm sure they're going to start small and then work their way up. Now, whether Intel's actually gonna have a completely performance level gaming card, you know, by the beginning of next year, I'm not exactly sure, but I'm hopeful for it, you know, fingers crossed, because competition in the market is great. And with prices the way that they are, with the scalping and all that other stuff, it's a dead horse. We've been all been beating it with a stick for like, you know, the past year and a half, ever since all this crazy mining stuff and scalping stuff has been happening. So hopefully with Intel releasing their cards, maybe the market will change. Plus I have some other good news. Um, looking at some of the stock trends lately for doing crypto mining, the stocks yesterday just went like a Led Zeppelin, which is kind of funny because like a Led Zeppelin, you know, wouldn't fly, it'd fall straight to the ground. And that's kind of how the band Led Zeppelin got their name as well. People thought in the beginning that they sucked so bad that they were going to fall like a Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, like one of the greatest like hard rock bands of all time. Their name was originally intended as an insult. <laughs> this thing's kind of crazy, off topic, I know, but still really cool. Now I'll have a link down below to Steve's video. He did the full testing and everything else on the card. So all of that type of stuff he has over at his site. I just wanted to let you guys know that this card actually is on the market. Currently, you can only buy it inside of a system from a system integrator, but we're seeing this already. If you guys watched the video I made yesterday with the new Radeon 6900 XT, their liquid-cooled reference card from AMD, it's only available through system integrators as well. So maybe the future, until the market balances out, that's kind of going to be the trend. So I know that today this is a pretty short video about this particular subject because, I mean, hey, he got the card a couple of days ago. And I believe that only him and the, and the, and the unknown guy in Canada are the people that right now that actually have their hands on this card. Um, I'm going to contact CyberPower, see if I can possibly get a system loaner so I can check it out and do my own testing. But it's here. Hey, Intel. Iris XE DG1, the first Intel card to ever actually be on the market. It's a really big thing because of what it is. It's just cracking the tip of the iceberg, but we all know that, you know, things like this are like a rolling snowball downhill. It's going to gain momentum. And if Intel gets accepted with this and the card's pretty good for what it's doing, I believe they'll start releasing other cards, other cards, other cards until they get up. Now, I think Intel's actual plan is only to be competitive at this point at like kind of the entry level. So you might be, you know, looking at like a lower end gaming card for right now. I don't know if they're gonna go all the way hardcore and make, you know, gaming cards that are competing with the 3090. I don't think that's happening. I don't even think they're gonna be competing with the 3080. We're probably looking at the most, probably a 3060 is where Intel's probably going to go right now. But hey, the future, as Tom Petty said, the future is wide open. I know, singing voice is terrible. I just barely woke up and, and, and <laughs> I haven't even had my coffee yet. Here currently, it's like six o'clock in the morning here where I'm living in Kentucky. And I got up really early to make this video so I could get it up for you guys because I thought this is really exciting stuff. So like I said, I'll have a link down below. So if you guys want to check that out, that'd be really great. Also, I should have mentioned it earlier. If you like my style, I'd appreciate it if you sub the channel, like and share the video. And if you want to support the channel and you don't have any money, I have a link down below to Amazon Prime. Check it out for 30 days. If you've got a single dollar, you can support me on Patreon, or you can try some of those Windows keys, which I personally guarantee myself that they will work and be absolutely just fine for you. So that's it. The Intel Iris XE DG1, it's here. Are you interested? Is it exciting to you? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll see you guys back here for more tech here on Tech of Tomorrow. Peace out, homies.